All right, guys, here we have the Park Zone Sukhoi SU-29MM. This comes with safe technology, which is sensor-assisted flight envelope. Has some cool features to it. And we look down here, we'll see the size of the plane. It's 44 inch wingspan, 42.3 inch length, and it's about 40.6 ounces. Pretty nice plane, 3D plane. Should be a great sport flyer in 3D plane. Let's go ahead and flip it over and look at a little bit more of the information on back. Then we're going to take it out, look at all the parts, and build it. So let's go ahead and keep on moving. Alright guys, so here's the back of the box. Go around and just look at some of the features shown on the box here. First off, this is the Bind and Fly Basic. It's going to come with the whole plane, the motor, the ASC, and the receiver. You're going to need to add in a battery, and you want to use a 3-cell, about 2200 milliamp, 25C. You need a charger for that battery, and you need your transmitter. So basically, you need a battery uh, to complete this plane. Go down over here, look at the safe that it comes with. Looks like it has four flight modes. <coughs> Got stagility mode which uh, you can perform any maneuver but it will immediately return to upright flight if both sticks are released so it looks like it'll kind of level you out which is kind of cool we have uh, AS3X mode and then we have AS3X precision mode AS3X 3D mode and precision mode and then uh, it's really only three modes the last one is panic recovery it's more like a flip of a switch and it'll immediately upright uh, your aircraft with the push of a button so if you get in trouble you have that uh, as, a, as a safety measure. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box, take a look at the actual plane, and then we'll do a build and talk about how easy it is to build and get it put together real quick. So, let's get it out. Like all the Horizon Hobby products, it comes packed really nice and secure, real safe for shipping. So this will take me a second to get it all out, then we'll take a look at everything. Alright, so here it is. It looks great. And it looks like it's going to be very simple and fast uh, to build it. The paint on here and everything looks great. Nice decals. Got the pilot and cockpit in there. It looks like yeah, every hinge is pre-put on, all ready to go. It's going to be very simple. Got our servos all pre-installed. The servos are uh, E-Flight uh, EFLR7155. Looks like they're 13 gram sub-micro servos. Got our carbon rod. And this is all the parts we uh, have to put it together. So as you can see, not that many parts really. Just about, uh, it looks like four, seven, nine screws in that bag and there might be one extra or so you never know but there's about nine screws in that bag so not that many screws to put in doesn't look like it came with any type of screwdriver some planes do some planes don't so I'll have to uh, have to get my own screwdriver to use which is just fine so let me go ahead and put this together it shouldn't take more than a couple minutes and I'll try to show you the show you the uh, the build along the way what has to be done all right, the first thing we're going to do is install the landing gear. And what we have here to put in is first the landing gear go in. And we're going to use four screws. Came in a bag with five screws, one extra, but they're these smaller screws with the pointed tip on them. All the other screws in the package do not have a pointed tip. So they're the screws with the pointed tip. And then we're going to need the struts and the gear cover. So what's going to go on first is the gear cover. And then we're going to place on both the struts, and then we're going to tighten down the screws. So I put in this already. Now basically, I'm going to put on the gear cover. And now, oh, my cat just jumped. Now we're going to attach both the struts. And as you see, they have uh, screw holes here, which are going to line up there. So I need to use both hands to do this, but they're basically going to go and then up the... Uh, the gear here and then you just tighten down the four screws into the strut and the gear cover here so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done then we'll look at the next step alright so that is the gear completed as you can see we just screwed it down let's go ahead to the next step 
All right, the next step's going to be the main wing. We need our carbon rod here in both of our wings. And then we're gonna use the long screws here. They provide one extra. And basically all we do is put on the wings and then screw one screw on each side to hold it in. Very simple. And then there's a couple holes here. I think that there might be, yep, have a wire also right here. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure to get that wire out and put it through this rectangular hole here and get it inside the fuse. So we'll go ahead and do that quick. Real simple, pretty self-explanatory there. Just get the cords in, put on the wings, and use two screws to connect it. All right, I'll do the wing on camera here, real simple though. Let's get your wire through. Rectangular hole here. And make sure that as you push in the wing, you keep this uh, wire coming in and tight so that it uh, doesn't get stuck or pushed in on anything. That fits snug, but it wasn't hard to push in, so that's good. Some some planes I've had from you know other companies and stuff, and sometimes they don't always fit in so nice. But this one seems to be a snug fit, but still pretty easy. Get on this other side, just line everything up, grab my wire. Oh, wire got stuck down in there a little. Hold on. There we go. And just slide it on. Good little push, and our wings are on now, except for on the bottom here, we have two screw holes, and we're just going to screw in our screws. While I have it open here, take a quick look at the inside. Here is our electronic setup. We have our ESC down in front here. Not 100% sure where the battery is supposed to go. It doesn't go up in there, it doesn't look like. So I'll have to figure that out real quick. Battery plug is right here, so maybe the battery just sits in here, but it doesn't look like there's like a specific spot for it, which is kind of weird. Have our receiver here. Nice receiver with the AS3X and safe. And then back here we have some wires uh, for connecting. These are probably for our ailerons. So we'll just plug in our wing to our ailerons here, and our front wings are done. Last thing to do, put on the tail. One more thing to show as I noticed things on this plane. It's got a push button here to open up the hatch and this is nice. It's a little uh, you know mechanism here and uh, instead of using magnets they use that and uh, on this side we just have the other clip for it. So you just put on the front and then you slide it down and snap it in and it's on there tight and good. I prefer that over magnets kind of because uh, with magnets you sometimes have to squeeze and pull and you'll sometimes put a little bit of uh, wear and tear on where you have to pull up to get uh, the, the canopy off. So this is nice, just real simple push button and you're good to go. Alright guys, for the tail, they've done this on other planes and I always kind of do a little modification because for the tail we have our carbon rod to go through it and then we have our, you know, two uh, horizontal stabs here, but that's pretty much it other than the control arm that we have to put on, but that's a separate uh, thing here. But they don't have any screws for the tail. They want you to use tape. Now I'm not a big fan uh, when flying a crazy fast 3D plane having just the held on with tape, so I'm probably going to go ahead and use some glue. But basically if you want to do this the stock way, you just use these tape pieces and hold on the uh, horizontal stab with the tape. I'm going to be putting a little bit of glue in there just uh, you know to make it a little bit more permanent. Um, pretty unlikely that I'll damage the tail but if I ever did I could use a Dremel and Dremel out the uh, foam and put on a new tail if I ever really wanted to put on a new tail. Um, but I'm just gonna glue it on because I just don't feel quite safe about the tape it's probably fine, I'm sure their engineers know what they're doing, but I'm just going to use glue to make sure. So we'll go ahead and do the tail quick here. Alright, so for the tail, I'm going to go ahead and do it here. Put in my uh, carbon rod here. And this is just going to go through and in. Now, like I said, I'm just I could use epoxy to make it really permanent. I'm just going to use a little bit of foam safe CA in there 
and um, help it out. So in here, I'm just going to try to tip the plane a little bit, and I'm just going to put a little bit of CA on the top edge and on the bottom inside here. So that'll just hold it in. So here we go and put this in. There we go. And I'm, I'll, I'm also going to use the tape. If I did something like epoxy, that'd be all I need. But um, since I'm just doing it with a little bit of CA as extra, I'll also use the tape they have. So on this one, let me get a little bit of CA on here. slide it in and then make sure you get the two tail pieces lined up and together there we go and now all I have to do is uh, I'll go ahead and throw on the tape real quick as well um, and then we just have to put on the back control arm here. So we'll do that after I apply the tape really quick here. I'll cut off the camera so you don't have to watch me slowly applying this tape here. Alright, and the very last thing to do, which I'm not going to do yet, because I don't know if this servo is centered, I gotta bind it, is just put on the control arm. What we do here is just put this end through the, um, the servo arm, and then we attach it with this little clip piece. It'll go over and uh, attach this and hold it uh, onto the servo arm. And then back here, this is how we attach it to the control arm back uh, on the elevator there. And what we're going to do with that is use these screws, which they apply uh, include two sets. You only need to use one of these sets. And the screw goes through with the nut on the other side of this um, circular hole here. So it'll go right onto there and connect. And like I said, I'll do that once I get it all bound and ready so it, uh, you know, is all centered. So let's go ahead and just take a quick another peek at the, uh, at the plane now that it's built. Alright, so here we have it. Very, very nice looking plane here. And it's great size. Actually, I'm uh, really excited about this plane because uh, one of my favorite planes in the past was the Extra 300 by Park Zone, the full size one. And, uh, you know, it was a sport plane, it didn't do 3D, but it was really powerful, had unlimited climb, and really maneuverable and just, you know, quick, quick control surfaces and everything. So, this is kind of an update to that. I know it's a different model, I know it's not an extra, but. Um, should be pretty similar in terms of flight but at the same time have tons of 3d capabilities and more technology just be another step up so i'm really excited to fly this thing looks like a great plane like i said and check back soon i'll be doing videos on transmitter setups and flight videos review after flight uh, this was just an unboxing and little build and what i could say about it so far is it looks great hopefully it flies as good as it looks so we'll see you guys next time happy flying and before we go, cut off the video in the end, I just wanted to show that extra. As you can see, different planes, but very similar in uh, shape. And this extra, oh man, it's, it's had probably 500 flights on it. Never really did much damage to it. I filled that with some foam, and the tail did have some pretty good damage, actually. Glued it all up with my amateur beginner flyer glue job there. I just wanted to show that quick because this extra 300 was one of my favorite planes I learned a lot with it and it was just amazing not 3d capable but amazing uh, sport flyer so really excited about this Sukhoi as I said anyways just wanted to show that real quick before I went because I was talking about that plane you could see how similar they look again